Hey guys, I'm Wolfish here, and today I'm going to be revealing James Piper's magic trick on Britain's Got Talent, which was aired on the 11th of April. And I just want to quickly put out there that what I'm going to say today has no proof that it is true. This is my personal opinion on how he did his, can I just say, amazing magic trick. I thought it was astounding, considering he also brought in his son. Also guys, if you don't agree with what I say today, make sure to put it in the comments below, because I want to know your guys' opinion as well. And with that out of the way, let's just get straight into the video. So I'm going to start off by explaining and reminding you guys his actual performance, and then I'm going to be revealing how he did it on the time in the video that is on screen right now so if you want to just know the reveal because you've just watched the performance and you still remember it then go to the time that is on screen right now but if you want to be reminded of his performance then watch all the way through the video so the Welsh magician starts off by saying that there is something special and amazing underneath this cloth and that he'll get back to it later on in his performance. And then he goes to the judges and tells them that he has a list of 56 different things that his son wants for his birthday. He tells Simon to pick a number between 1 and 56 and Simon says 25. And he opens up notes on his phone with the 56 different things that his son wants for his birthday. And then Simon scrolls down to the 25th number and remembers the item on that 25th number. Then James Piper gets out of deck of cards and shows that the it all completely different. Then he gets Simon to touch any face down cards and he then reveals that he touched the five of hearts. The magician then gets Simon to think of someone special to him and then gets Simon to write down that special person on the card. And then Simon writes down his son Eric. And then the magician turns over the card which we're going to talk about later on and then places it on Simon's hand and tells Simon to put his hands over the card. And Simon then opens his hands and reveals that the image of the card has been completely wiped off. And then from the audience James Piper the 38 Welsh magician's son shouts out and holds up a wallet and he says it's in here in reference of the card. The son then joins the judge's table alongside his dad and then gives the wallet to his dad and James Piper reveals that inside one wallet there is another wallet and inside the second wallet there is a zipped pouch and then the son pulls out a folded up card from the zipped pouch and Simon unfolds the card and it reveals to be the five of hearts which is specially signed by Simon with the word Eric written on it. And then James Piper's second son, who is the twin of his other son, joins the stage and pulls the cloth off of the special item that's been on the stage the whole time and reveals that it says the five of hearts. And then James Piper turns the sign that says five of hearts upside down and it says Simon and Eric. Simon then reveals that the number 25 on the birthday list from earlier was jet ski. And James Piper and one of his sons turns around the board which says Simon and Eric as well as five of hearts and it reveals to be Simon and his son Eric on a jet ski. And that is his amazing performance. Now let's get on to the reveal. So at the start, the magician actually talks a lot about his son, and then later on in his performance, when he asks Simon Cow to write down someone special to him on the Five of Hearts, he writes down Eric. Now what the magician did is he tried to influence Simon Cow to write down his son, as James Piper was talking a lot about his son at the start of the audition. Basically, he was just trying to influence Simon Cow, and there's obviously it's not the best idea out there, but it's one of the only main ones that people can think of. There's there's not many other ideas of how he did it because you know he could have literally said anyone but he knew Eric was in the audience and he was talking a lot about his son so he tried to influence Simon Cow to write his son down as well so that's basically how he got him to say Eric and then it comes to the 56 different things that his son wanted for his birthday in magic you can never trust mobile phones because you can get so many different apps and you can have so many people backstage helping you out when you're using a phone in magic because last year X I think it is semi-final or his final audition actually used a phone and we found out how he did that because using phones there's so many different things you can do to basically manipulate your audience to think that there's only one option on your phone like he only showed one note yet yeah, so many people could be backstage helping him out and there's so many apps out there that we really don't know what he did because phones cannot be trusted in magic now simon cow said 25 as a free choice and yes he literally could have said any number but what happened is in the audition james piper actually took a few seconds to find his notes and in these few seconds anything could have been happening backstage whether it was someone sending him a note where 25 was the jet ski item or anything like that and obviously he showed there was only one note in his notes so you know that makes it look more magical however phones cannot be trusted with magic this isn't obviously a very good point and obviously it doesn't fully reveal how he did this part but there's so many apps out there and there could have been people backstage or his son could have literally sent him anything there could have been literally 56 people in on this magic trick and say simon said number 14 the 14th person with 
then like um, transfer their notes where 14 was the jet ski and transfer it to James Piper like we have no idea but you can't trust phones in magic that's all I'm gonna say sorry guys now moving on to the card trick part so James Piper shows that he has a deck of cards and all the cards are completely different but what actually happens is he does a card force which basically means he makes Simon choose the card he wants and there's a certain card force he used here I'm not sure the name of the specific technique he used but I know how he pulled it off so what he did is he had a row of cards and that were all completely different and you can see that there are actually 52 different cards there because he doesn't have a full deck of cards that are being shown because on top of the cards that are different there's all of the same card which are the five of hearts and then when he gets Simon to tap on one of the cards he's actually tapping on the top row as the deck is face down and then he pulls out one of the top cards which are all the five of hearts if you don't really get me basically just to clarify and sum it all up he used a card force and basically he could have used anything just to make Simon pick the five of hearts then the magician tells Simon to write someone special to him on the card and he writes Eric and obviously I've just explained the whole why he wrote Eric but what the magician then does is it looks like he has just the one card on the top of the deck however what he actually has is he's got two cards but he's holding them together so it looks like one and I'm going to show you an example of that in a minute as well so basically to sum it up just before I show the example in real life he grabs two cards and turns it over so then the Eric card is on the bottom left on the top of the pack and then he places the blank card into Simon's hand I'm going to show you an example of that now so he has the five of hearts on the top of the deck and let's just say one of these jokers is a blank playing card okay so what he has is it looks like he's just got the five of hearts on the top with Eric written on it and he turns it over and he puts it onto Simon's hand so this is Simon's hand then he turns it over and it's the blank card for instance the Joker is the blank card here but what he actually has is then the five of hearts is then still on the top of the deck and this is basically called a double lift where he's got a pinky break right here just underneath the two cards and then he's holding the two cards together and from this angle right here that looks like one card yeah but what he's actually got his two cards and then as he turns over the five of hearts that will instantly be on the bottom then he just takes the top card just one card this time and it will be the blank card and he places it onto Simon's hand without him actually showing that it's the five of hearts again and then instantly the five of hearts is here for the next part of the trick where uh, the sun then comes over and quickly snatches the five of hearts off the top of the deck and then I'm about to explain that now so that's basically the double lift part here so he has the blank card the five of hearts and then he turns it over like so and then places the blank card which is on the top into Simon's hand then suddenly James Piper's son shouts from the audience saying it's in here in reference to the card like I said earlier and he holds up a wallet and he says that the card is in the wallet but as I said earlier in the example James Piper used a double lift effect and basically left the five of hearts on the top of the deck which is still laid on the table so as James Piper's son walks over and gives the wallet to his dad to then unfold James Piper's son quickly gets the top card from the deck which is the five of hearts with Eric on it and palms it in his hand and I'm going to show you an example of what palms means in a second and basically holds it in his hand and as he goes to take it out of the pocket of the zip part of the wallet you can actually see that he has his hand palmed and faced away from the audience because he has the folded up card just held inside his hand and then he slips it inside the pouch of the wallet and then he pulls it out and gives the illusion that it's been there the whole time. I'm going to show you an example of that now. So now we're left with the five of hearts on the top of the deck and I'm just using this spare playing card that I've got. So we have the five of hearts that's signed with Eric written on it and it's on the top of the deck and then as James Piper the main magician is fiddling around with the wallets and opening up then the second wallet and the zip pouch his son is quickly going over to the deck which is then left on the judge's table because everyone's attention is drawn to the wallet and then what happens is the son quickly takes off the top card because no one will really notice him they're just going to be noticing the wallet and then he palms the card like this but what he actually does is obviously he folds it up also I'm just going to quickly say you don't actually see this as the camera cuts because producers uh, help magicians to make it look more magical because uh, the camera cuts also help us give the illusion that it's real magic whereas actually it's not and then he palms the card because what he does is to reach into the wallet he does this and pulls it out of the wallet but what actually he's doing is he has his palm card here because from he's facing the judges his hand like this so no one can see the underneath of his hand then he goes in and then what he actually does here is he pushes it to the front of his hand and then gives the illusion that he's just taken it out so say here's the pouch here he's going like this like that giving the illusion that he's just taken this folded up card out of the pouch whereas actually he's literally just palmed it and then gone like this 
and taken it out. And also just to prove that the son didn't actually quickly write Eric on the Five of Hearts and slipped it inside the pouch whilst he was sat in the audience, I literally examined the cards and they are identical. Like, there's not a spot of difference and if you think there is, comment it down below but I can guarantee you if you printed those photos out there is completely no difference between them at all because I've had a look and I'm pretty sure palming the card because it was left on the top of the deck is the only way that it could have been done. But if you disagree, put what you think in the comments below. Then James Piper's second son walks out to the stage and whips off the cloth that was on the special item that's been left there from the start and it reveals to be the Five of Hearts. And obviously this part was pretty easy as we now know that James Piper forced that card so he wrote that there at the start knowing that he was going to make Simon choose the Five of Hearts which then means he can write that down there knowing he'll be correct. And then James Piper turns around the sign that says Five of Hearts and it actually says Simon and Eric and obviously he tried to influence Simon to say Eric and luckily for him he pulled it off and got Simon to say Eric earlier which then makes it look amazing when upside down Five of Hearts is Simon and Eric. And he asked Simon Cow to read out what the item was that was next to number 25 and he reads out Jet Ski and then James Piper and one of his sons turns around the Five of Hearts and the Simon and Eric sign and it reveals to be the Jet Ski and obviously this is just an amazing illusion that he basically pulled off by influencing Simon Cow. that's basically one of the only ways that he could have done it because he didn't force Simon Cow to say Eric he could have said anything he was just trying to influence it and when it comes to the phone part where he said 25 so many things could have been going on over backstage or on his phone like so many different things to do with mobile phones of magic are available online and you, your phones cannot be trusted so that's basically the full reveal of the trick if you guys disagree you don't have to dislike go and comment what you think in the comments below and say what you think so then it will obviously help me to then reveal his next trick because I'm pretty sure he'll probably be going through to the semi-finals as this trick was very good. If you guys are a magician, comment down below. Hopefully you enjoyed today's reveal. Comment what you thought. If you disagree with any part of this, you probably will because everyone has their own opinion. This is just my opinion. So thank you guys so much for watching all the way up until the end. Hopefully I explained it fairly well. If you don't understand anything, say anything in the comments below. Hopefully I shall see you in my next reveal. See ya.